So Office Depot got busted for essentially overcharging customers for computer repairs and misdiagnosing computers and then charging them for services that didn't even need. Now, I before you run out and crucify some of the technicians that work there, it's not exactly your fault. It's the system and structure that was put in place that led to it. What happens is companies go, I want to make money in technology, so I'm going to come up with an automated tool because smart people are expensive, so we want to have less expensive people working there that know something about computers. That's why you always see a bunch of you know, young, just in college kids, which does not automatically make them smart with diagnosing and working on technical problems. And they give them an automated tool. The automated tool always seems to find a problem and then has a whole nice organized list of things that they can sell you to solve all your problems and make all, everything go away. Now, like I said, this is a systemic problem and Office Depot is just one more big box store that's been in trouble for this. I see this not just there, but I see it as a systemic problem with a lot of repair companies. And I meet IT people all the time that start out with, how do you make your recurring revenue? What can we magically sell all of our clients that will solve all the problems for a markup and create all this recurring revenue? They don't really want to be technicians, or maybe they don't want to take the time to learn to be technicians. They're always looking for the magic, you know, inclusive software that they don't have to know anything and just sell and then create recurring revenue streams and hopefully nothing breaks. This goes even further because your data is so important on here and we deal with people all the time. They take it back to the big box store they bought it from and they're like, oh, here, your computer's fixed. Sometimes that means they just replace it. They don't often think about the data on there. They'll just take and erase hard drives. We have people come here all the time going, what can you do? They erased all my photos. I'm like, well, not always a lot. They've erased all your photos or we even had a business owner who they just shipped off his computer and gave him another one under warranty and he didn't have any backups. So now his data went with wherever they sent it, which is probably to a factory. This is a huge problem. If you care anything about the things on your computer, if you have personal information, if you're a business that business information on there, you really have to trust where that's going. You don't know. You don't want to give it to the cheapest person. That's not always a wise move. If you've got nothing to lose with it, sure. But that's not often the case. Usually you really want it fixed. You have personal data. You have your business data on there. And that scares me when people take them to some of these, either the big box stores, which sometimes people think they trust them, but eh, it just proves once again that you can't always trust them. And even some of the other technicians, when you see everyone advertising going, well, I know a guy who knows a guy who can fix computers. So really you got to think about where you take it to these places and places like Office Depot, Geek Squad, all those big corporate companies, you got to remember, and Geek Squad's been in trouble too for this too. They start at the top and go, how can we turn this into a business to make money? How can we automate everything and create this environment where we can hire a bunch of inexpensive technicians, give them some tools and a process by which to upsell and then encourage them on commission basis. So they're not technicians at that point. They're just salespeople. And if their goal is just to sell you product and you're going, I don't know which will work and just, you know, cookie cutter, here's your service plans for all this. And it's not supported by technicians and look at the reviews. I'm not, you can if you want to substantiate what I'm saying. Look at the reviews, but stop and think and look at this before you go to one of these stores and confirm that sir. you know, we don't really get into reselling all these products. It's always been a policy of me to be a technician. In my company, we're technicians. We're not people just focused on selling you a bunch of commission products. Not what we do here. And that focus means we're always looking out for your interests. We want to give clients products that work, not clients I make a good commission on, not the, not the product I'm going, hey, I can sell this product for a better commission. How do you become and stay honest with yourself if you look at the commission first? So that's why it's important to us that we don't resell things, that we don't just generically go sign up for every company and go to my website. You won't find a bunch of things that we signed up for that we're trying to push like, wait, we partnered up with this company, this company, and here's our affiliate link that gets us a commission on all these different, you know, products we recommend and we recommend them because of the commission. No, doesn't, we do not do that. That's not how we work. So uh, stop and think before you go to some of these other stores, think about how their business works a little bit and that way you can feel secure when you drop the computers off and take your technical work to them, that they're going to do it honestly, fairly, and not just bamboozle you with some magic software. Thanks.